In February 2016, North Korea cut off the communication hotline with the South. It was to protest Seoul's decision to shut down the Kaesong Joint Factory Park. Keeping with the tone set by its leader's New Year's speech, the regime restored the inter-Korean channel today. Jim Young-gil has our top story. The chairman of North Korea's Committee on Inter-Korean Affairs announced Wednesday through state media that Kim Jong-un had approved the restoration of the military hotline. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has ordered the restoration of the South North hotline starting 3 p.m. today. Through this channel, we will discuss matters related to sending a delegation to the PyeongChang Winter Olympics and the proposed talks. The committee's chair emphasized that on the orders of their leader, Kim Jong-un, North Korean officials will cooperate with their South Korean counterparts, and he once again expressed hope for the success of the upcoming 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics. The chairman went on to say that the North leader, Kim Jong-un, welcomed the decision by the South Korean presidential office to offer talks, calling it a positive move. Our leader highly appreciates and welcomes President Moon Jae-in's support of his peace offer and has ordered thorough preparations for working-level talks. However, it is unknown whether the two sides will talk only about sending North Korean athletes to the PyeongChang Olympics or whether they'll cover other issues such as inter-Korean family reunion and resuming civilian exchanges. South Korea's presidential office of Chongade welcomed the North reopening of the inter-Korean communication channel, saying it's a move toward making communication possible at all times. South Korea's unification ministry has also welcomed the North's restoration of the hotline, saying it will consult with North Korea on issues related to working-level talks. Tim Young-get, Arirang News.